Besides the more formal note reading component of my lessons, I also like to get my young kids started on playing some chords as well. So the first chords I start them with are fairly simple. E minor, C, and G. Stay tuned and I'll show you some examples. The first piece I'd like to show them is Just The Way You Are by Bruno Mars. It uses the chords G, C, and E minor. I like to put some markers on the neck of the guitar just to show the kids exactly where to put their fingers. This is how it works. If you look at the chart above, you'll notice that we have eight strums of G, eight strums of E minor, eight strums of C, before returning to eight strums of G again. That pattern keeps repeating throughout the whole song. I just get the kids to play on the beat, like this. G, 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 E minor. Let's try that with some music. song, I've Got a Feeling by the Black Eyed Peas, uses the same sort of chords, except in a slightly different order. Eight strums of G, eight strums of C, eight strums of E minor, and eight strums of C again. That, again, that's a repeated uh, chord progression. Let's have a listen. <laughs> open string chord that I teach the kids is an E chord and you can see where uh, the stickers are the first ones on the um, third third string first fret second finger goes on the fifth string second fret and the third finger on the third uh, third finger on the fourth string second fret okay it's important to keep the fingers arched or curved so that you've got a little tunnel under your fingers so that um, it doesn't, uh, the fingers don't interfere with the strings sitting toward the ground. So it's important to use your fingertips and to keep the fingers curved. Okay, so this is an absolute favourite with the kids. Uh, to get the E chord going, I use We Will Rock You uh, with that familiar strum, strum, slap, strum, strum, slap rhythm. Here's how it works with the recording. Next chord I like to teach is an open A chord. And you can see where the stickers are. I like to uh, colour them. Uh, sometimes it's easier to differentiate between the chords by uh, calling, just temporarily, calling out a, a yellow chord or a blue chord. To teach the A chord, I like to get the kids to play along to a song called Low Rider by Warp.
message, the D chord, I like to use the song uh, Land of a Thousand Dances by Wilson Pickett. Here it is. teach is a tune called For What It's Worth by Buffalo Springfield. This is the first song where I actually get the kids to change from one open string chord to another. It uses an E chord, the yellow chord, and an A chord, the blue chord. Okay, so all you need to do is strum one E, count for four beats, one, two, three, four, then change the A, three, then back again. Now that can be a challenge for really young kids, so what I like to get them to do is as soon as they play the E, start changing, uh, start to change, and then back again. So they've actually got a fair amount of time to change from one chord to the next. Now that still may not be enough time for a young child, so I'd recommend maybe putting them on a metronome and building up their speed before they can play to speed. Uh, there's in the chorus there's a D uh, there's a D chord which is fairly quick, but you know you can ignore that really. You can just keep playing the E and the A. A. say yellow chord, blue chord, yellow chord, blue chord, yellow chord, blue chord. Once the kids are comfortable with their A and their E chords, I'll push them a little harder and I'll get them to play Silence is Easy by a uh, band called Star Sailor. So, this involves two bars of A, uh, two bars of E played with a quaver rhythm. One and two and three and four and one and two and change to A. And back again. Theme. The next song I like to teach is Achy Breaky Heart. It, uh, it's quite simple. It uses 12 strums of A. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Then 16 strums of E. By now you kids have had enough of E and A. The Drunken Sailor uses two chords, E minor and D. I like the Drunken Sailor because, well, the words are very repetitive so it's easy for the kids to sing and uh, concentrate on changing their chord shapes at the same time. So uh, we've got um, E minor. What shall we do with the Drunken Sailor? The 
next song I'd like to teach is Waltzing Matilda. Uh, again, we go back to the G, the C, and the E minor chord, as well as the D chord. But the challenge here is there's only two of each chord. And um, the, the order may appear random compared to the order of the, other, uh, the order of the chords in the other songs. So we've got two G's, two D's, two E minors, two C's, two G's, two E minors, two C's, two D's. It'll go once a jolly swagman can't buy a bill of bun under the shade of a colibar tree, and he sang as he watched and waited till his belly bore. You'll come about sing. Santa Claus is coming to town. It's a good one as well. Um, again, I use the simple G, C, E minor, but it does have an A and it does have a D. And the beauty of this song is that it, it, well, a lot of it can be, well, not only strummed on the beat, but the rhythm of the words can be placed on the beat like this. You better watch. 